Welcome to another episode of Three Chicks in a Stream. This week we're going to get a little bit of theater history and some theater terms from one of the greatest actresses in our area, Susan Tazinski Temple. Now, if you listen closely, no, you really won't have to listen closely, you may notice that she doesn't sound like a native of Effingham. And she is from Chicago, but we welcome her with open arms. She's one of the greatest actresses in our troupe and a great lady to work with. So, without further ado, here she is. In a world where up means back, down is forward, left is right, and vice versa, where wings have nothing to do with flight, and where you shouldn't even try to put on the apron because you can't, it can be confusing sometimes if you're new to the theater world. The magnificent world of theater is full of oddities, strange terms, and superstitions. So today I'm going to tell you some things you need to know to avoid disaster and make some sense of both the on and backstage theater world. First, let's start with a bit of history. One of the most popular forms of entertainment for people is a visit to the theater. In America, we have Broadway theater, off-Broadway, and even off-off-Broadway theater in New York. Outside New York, many cities have professional or resident theater companies that produce their own seasons. U.S. theater also has an active community theater culture, which relies mainly on local volunteers who may not be actively pursuing a theatrical career. While humanity has been handing down stories since we developed language, the institution of the theater did not begin until much later. Ultimately, early versions of the theater were wildly different than a theater performance we might attend today. For centuries, people have enjoyed drama, comedy, music, and other forms of entertainment. In fact, the history of theater can be traced back to the 6th century BC, where the ancient Greeks were the first to present dramatic presentations. The very first documented play performed in the colonies took place in 1752 in Williamsburg, Virginia, it was Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. As our country expanded west, live theater began to spread west as well. And often towns had theaters before they even had sidewalks or sewers. There were several leading professional theater companies early on, but the most influential was in Philadelphia between 1794 and 1815. All right, so now on to the nitty gritty. Let's get to some theater terms. A run through. This is when a cast rehearses their entire show from beginning to end, hopefully without stopping. To spot means to align yourself to the person to your immediate right or left so everyone can be in a straight line. Window. Your window is the space left between the person in the line in front of you, so you can be sure to be seen by the audience through your window. Dresser, not to be confused with a piece of furniture. It is a stagehand who aids in keeping costumes neat and tidy, as well as helping performers during their costume changes. To upstage another is to draw attention away from that person or thing. Off book. This means you've got all your lines and your blocking memorized. Blocking. Nothing to do with bricks or Legos here. Your blocking is the instructions you get from the script or director telling you where to go and, and what to do as you're saying your lines. I'm up or being up means the worst possible scenario for a live theater actor. It means you're lost. Lost such as you can't remember your next line, your scene or blocking. When this happens, an actor can only hope to be sharing the stage with someone who is skilled at the art of improv and has no trouble in saving your skin. This savior is oft times referred to as the king of wing 
and every theater company has one. What's the call for Friday? Call? (laughs) That question is simply asking, what time do I have to be at the theater on Friday? A flat. A flat is an oblong frame of timber covered with either canvas or hardboard and painted so it becomes part of the set. There are also door flats, window flats, even fireplace flats. Lighter canvas flats are the preferred option, but often many go for the hardboard ones, which are more durable and long lasting. Okay, now listen up. Now is the absolute most important thing you need to remember about theater. Never say good luck. In theater speak, break a leg is what is said to impart a wish of a good performance to a colleague. Break a leg. Weird, huh? So everybody, did you write this all down? You got it? No? Well, you have to look it up later because no matter what, spot right, find your window, it's showtime.